Pacific salmon are a lifeblood species in British Columbia. Their homes stretch from mountain streams to the middle of the ocean. And more than 130 species depend on salmon abundance for survival. Salmon are called many things, an icon and natural resource. But for more than 30,000 volunteers across British Columbia, they represent something more. For them, salmon are not simply resources to husband. For them, the salmon community, Salmon are a constant reminder that we are all connected and of our responsibility to sustain them. Well, 25, 25 years ago, it was hard to get people interested and excited about the, uh, the, the environment. It just didn't have the, the appeal that other, other causes did. I remember going to dinner parties or events and you'd have your card out and anybody you thought that would be really good for the board was yeah. interested in salmon, you got their names and yeah. you were going to do a follow-up. It's a lot, lot better now because uh, the awareness is, uh, is out there and uh, I guess we were part of creating that awareness. But I, th I think you've, the Salmon Foundation's proved itself. Yeah, and in no small part to the, to the stamp because that uh, provided the, uh, uh, the funding that allowed us to get out into communities and uh, demonstrate uh, that we were able to actually deliver uh, on our community salmon uh, projects and habitat restoration. 25 years ago, the Pacific Salmon Foundation evolved from the understanding that the regeneration and recovery of Pacific salmon couldn't be handled by government alone. There was a need to develop a broader movement a catalyst to engage communities, volunteers, and businesses to tackle the wide range of issues facing salmon. 25 years in, and the Pacific Salmon Foundation has invested $34 million in 2,000 salmon projects and 35,000 volunteers who do the heavy lifting for Pacific salmon. This investment lends a vital stamp of credibility to salmon projects across BC, providing leverage to raise additional support on average, every dollar invested in community salmon projects by the Pacific Salmon Foundation helps generate eight more dollars at the local level. Ian, what do you think is the common thread that makes the Streamkeeper Group so successful? I think it's commitment to their project. Uh, whether it's a big project or a small one, it, it's uh, the drive, the commitment to, to, the, to want to see their fish coming back. I remember going to look at a small project out in Mission and the fellow had been up all night in his little wee hatchery with his wife's hair dryer, um, keeping the heat on the pipes from freezing so it, the eggs would survive that night yeah. and then getting his water fixed. I mean, that, then he went to work right after that. He stayed up all night saving his uh, his few hundred fish eggs he had. And carrying buckets of fry from one part of the stream where they yeah. can't get through to another part, they'll have huge brigades. You know, the, the other thing that's really important and all the tying into this is uh, the incubation in the classroom for the yeah. grade threes and fours. Uh, kids truly learn about salmon oh, yeah. at a young age and they get to see the eggs hatch. My and, kids both did it. Did yours? Uh, yes, they did. Yeah, they yeah. did the program. They loved it. And then they get a, then they go and release them into the stream and they sort of, you know, the, 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 the one thing the stream keepers are, they're guardians of their streams. I think it's really important to remember that the volunteers are running the dinners as well. Yes, we have our all of our stream keeper volunteers, but people sometimes forget that all the people who organize the dinners are also volunteering their time. I mean, those that, have, that fundraise and do other work like that, we're volunteers too, and we're all doing it, working together to make sure our salmon are coming back. We are everyday people of all ages from all walks of life. Commercial and recreational fishers, volunteers, conservationists, business people, First Nations, scientists. But what unites us is a common goal, to make sure that BC's Pacific salmon prosper, and we maintain our salmon culture in BC for generations to come. You've uh, started an incredible momentum with the Salmon Foundation and got great track record and momentum behind you over these 25 years. And you know, we, we're looking to you to continue to 
point the direction for the future. We all want to get involved and, uh, and to help in our own way. And if each of us does our own small part together, we can change everything. I think you've touched on the uh, secret to the future. To be honest, we're going to continue to support our community groups. But we know that we have to extend what we've been doing. We need to go out into the coastal communities, work more in the marine environment. We need to do more support for science to really continue to grow. And what we really think we have to focus on is increasing public awareness about the importance of a Pacific salmon to Canada. Uh, I personally think that maintaining the culture between people and salmon is absolutely critical for our future. Maintaining that tie will probably sustain salmon and our environment. We are all part of the salmon community and together we will ensure a future for Pacific salmon.